Hey guys, so this video is going to be a skincare video, but it's going to be a little bit different to just a normal skincare routine video because it's more focused on how to get clearer, healthier, kind of glowing skin. So, I'm going to split it up into three parts. So first of all I've got products that I use kind of day to day to help keep my skin clear and prevent breakouts. Then I've got some treatment products that I use when I do have a breakout and then I've also got a makeup section at the end where I'm talking about my favourite makeup to get your skin looking beautiful and glowy and clear and healthy even if it might not be in its best state ever. I also wanted to mention at the beginning of this video this is sponsored by Boots. I'm really excited to be working with them because it's obviously one of my favourite places to shop. Now I haven't had the worst skin um, growing up and now. I've never had really really bad acne but what I do tend to get are horrible like one-off massive boil like spots every now and again either whether it's hormonal or stress related and I found that hasn't really stopped into my 20s. I've, I've definitely get a few less but I tend to get worse ones when I do get them now which is really frustrating because I think a lot of the time you think like when you like grow out of your teens, you're going to stop getting spots. Well, I haven't. So starting off with products I use to kind of keep my skin clear, the first thing that's really important is cleansing. I've actually been using the Foreo Luna Mini for quite a few months now, probably about eight months. I really love this. I much prefer it to the Clarisonic because it is easier to keep clean. You don't have to kind of change the head or anything. It's silicone, so it's really kind of germ friendly. It doesn't um, encourage the growth of bacteria or anything and you also barely have to charge it. I don't think I've ever charged this. Um, it's probably going to run out of battery soon because it does say like seven months. You have to every seven months you have to charge it but I haven't charged mine yet. Um, it's basically a sonic cleaning device so you use it to clean your skin with a cleanser and you basically just kind of massage it gently, you don't push hard and it just kind of vibrates and you just use this all over your face to help aid with cleansing and I use this in the shower in the morning I do find as well I really concentrate on my chin and my nose which is where I tend to get um, blackheads. So this will help kind of keep your skin clear in general but it's really especially good for kind of clearing out your pores and helping to prevent blackheads. The cleanser that I'm using with it at the moment is the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel foaming cleanser and I find foaming cleansers work really well with this kind of device because they really kind of foam up and you know they just they're easier to use and say a cleansing balm would be really hard to use with one of these. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this range and the ingredients when I get to the treatment section of this video but I do really like the cleanser and then I also probably once a week use a scrub and a really really good scrub that I absolutely love using and I've used it for a few years is the Soap and Glory Scrub Your Nose In It. Now this is quite a harsh scrub but I find for once a week it's just really great for kind of really getting in there. I do also sometimes use chemical based exfoliants. I haven't got any to talk about in this video because I feel like I would be here all day um, but I do have a new favourite so if you want to know what my new favourite um, chemical exfoliant is definitely come back for my August favourites because it will definitely be in that video. When it comes to moisturiser, the one that I've been using at the moment and I feel like it really makes my skin look kind of fresh and bright and clear is the Lancome Energy De V. This is a liquid moisturiser and I used to have quite dry skin. In my early 20s I really got quite dry skin. Now it's not necessarily oily but it's definitely slightly combination. I tend to get a little bit of an oily t-zone. For some reason I'm not entirely sure kind of why. Normally I feel like people get that the other way around and they have oily skin when they're in their teens and then it gets drier as they get older. I've kind of gone the other way. But I feel like this just leaves everything really smooth and makes a nice base for makeup so kind of leaves you with that like really beautiful kind of glowing complexion. So that's what I use in general to kind of cleanse my skin. When it comes to treating issues with my skin, either if it's blackheads or if it's breakouts, there are three products from the Tea Tree and Witch Hazel line that I really like. The first one being um, the moisturiser. This is a Shine Control Day Moisturiser and I will either use this as well as my Lancome one or I'll switch it up um, and use it entirely. So this is really good because it not only helps to treat your spots at the same time as moisturising but it's not going to overload them and it also helps to mattify the skin because the worst thing you want if you have a spot is for it to look like a greasier spot as well. So it kind of keeps it matte throughout the day and just really makes it easier to apply makeup on top of in the same way that a primer would. I'm going to get to primers in a bit but I really like that for that. And then another product that's great for treating spots directly is the Spot Wand from the same range and I really like this because it has a daytime treatment and a nighttime treatment. So it comes in this double ended wand um, and each end has like a little doe foot applicator. You can put this directly onto your blemishes if you want or you can use a q-tip if you want to and just kind of apply it from the back of your hand. This is basically more of a targeted treatment and the reason why I really love this range, I've always used 
tea tree oil directly on spots but it can sometimes be a little bit harsh but it generally is a really kind of effective ingredient and I used to always use witch hazel so when this range came out it's like the perfect combination for me tea tree and witch hazel together both of which are natural ingredients but they're really effective at fighting spots so there's those two and then if I have particularly bad um, blackheads on my nose or on my chin which genuinely I don't tend to get so much now that I use my Foreo and if I cleanse properly it's usually if I go like on holiday for a week or whatever and I don't take all of my cleansing products with me and I go back to like a more basic routine or if I've forgotten to kind of like properly cleanse or something I'll notice that my pores start to get a bit more blocked um, but these are really good this is the tea tree and witch hazel charcoal nose strips and these are quite different to a lot of nose strips I've used nose strips for years I absolutely love them I think they're really good like I feel like a lot of people kind of they're a bit of a love-hate thing they're not the sexiest thing to put on you basically get two steps you get the first step which is the normal kind of pore strip that you pull off and you have all the disgusting gunk on the strip when you pull it off oh it's so satisfying and so disgusting at the same time but then you also have a moisturizing strip as well so it doesn't um leave your skin feeling too dry and kind of stripped so it has that moisturizing second step as well which is really cool so if you have an issue with blackheads i would definitely recommend that these guys are also currently buy one get one free in boots till the end of august as well so if you want to try them out there is a good deal going on there so next up when it comes to makeup for making your skin look clear and glowing even if it's not there's nothing worse than if you have a massive breakout and you feel like everyone can see it you know what I mean the last spot I had was actually like right in the middle of my forehead and it still is really red now I've put so much concealer on it today I feel like I'm hoping you guys can't see it um, but there definitely is an art to covering up blemishes and it's all about layering in my opinion so the first thing that is really important when it comes to putting makeup onto spots is making sure that they're well moisturized first but then also I I find using a primer really helps because it really helps the makeup to sit better on top of the blemish as opposed to kind of getting stuck or caked in like dry skin or whatever. My two favourite primers, in general I've kind of chosen products that are one low end and one high end as recommendations but for primer I actually like two low end um, primers so um, the first one from Rimmel is the Fix and Pat fix and protect um, this actually has SPF 25 in it which is a real bonus but I really like this because it's not too drying it's very kind of moisturizing texture I really like that one and then a slightly more expensive one from L'Oreal but one that I really like if you like um, blurring creams and things like that this is really good this is the nude magic blur cream this has a slight tint to it um, but it's nothing major in terms of coverage but yeah this helps if you do have slightly larger pores as well you can use it as a kind of um, pore blurring primer as well as over blemishes this is very very similar to the benefit pore professional then when it comes to foundations again i've got a low end and a high end one the first one is the milani conceal and perfect this stuff is amazing super super high coverage and just really really beautiful natural finish it's not too matte and i think that's really important as well a lot of people if you have breakouts tend to go for a really matte finish um, because it doesn't look oily or if you've got greasy skin you tend to go for a matte finish but really it's about getting matte in the right area um, namely like in any kind of oily areas around your t-zone like your forehead or your chin or whatever um, but I don't find matte all over your face looks very good because it takes away that kind of three-dimensional element which you can then go into contouring and highlighting and all of that stuff but sometimes that just ends up looking a little bit fake so um, I really like this very natural finish and then slightly more of a radiant finish I would say but again higher coverage and just really really natural looking at the same time as the Too Faced Born This Way foundation absolutely love this so when it comes to concealer which is possibly the most important thing when it comes to covering up redness or breakouts or whatever um, everybody's looking for like the best concealer right so I have two recommendations that I absolutely love for slightly different reasons the first one being the Holy Grail concealer this is the collection lasting perfection um, 16 hour wear concealer it only comes in three colors actually maybe there's four now but basically the color section isn't great but if you can find a color that's good for you or mix two together this stuff is so high coverage it's amazing for covering up blemishes but I have to say it's slightly drying I find um, especially if your tube is a little bit older it can be a little bit drying so this is better on more kind of fresh juicy spots <laughs> oh, gross sorry guys if you do have more of a dry kind of healing spot my best recommendation for concealer is the new Too Faced Born This Way one this is so moisturizing at the same time as having really high coverage it's really kind of smooth and it just looks beautiful on the skin it sits really beautifully on skin as well so I think this is a really really good option for concealing blemishes and then talking about powder really quickly 
There are two powders that I really like. I'm not a massive powder person, um, and I don't think like using too much powder is necessarily a good look for setting makeup over spots, it's especially important. There are two powders that I really like for this. The first one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder. This actually has coverage, so it's a really good one for on the go if you want to be kind of reapplying and kind of covering up any redness again if it's kind of, um, if your makeup's kind of faded off throughout the day. When it comes to powder, I have to say my number one tip though is to use a blotting sheet before you go in with your brush and then put powder onto your skin. A couple of different reasons for this. Firstly, the makeup will sit much better on your skin once you've gotten rid of the oil on the surface of your skin. It'll apply better, it'll stay for longer. Secondly, if you are using a brush and you're putting it into your makeup, then putting it onto your skin, you're going to get the oil in the brush and then the next time you put the brush back into the powder, even if you clean your brushes quite regularly, you're still going to be putting some oil back into the powder if you use it more than once and that's how you end up with that cakey kind of film on top of your powder. And the other powder that I like, the low end one that I recommend is a Rimmel one. It's their clear complexion powder which is designed to help not clog your pores and not cause blemishes. I don't know how much it actually works but it is actually a nice powder. Um, again, with when it comes to powders, a lot of the time if you're setting concealer, you want to use even like a little fluffy eyeshadow brush just to really gently set the makeup on top of your blemishes to help keep them in place um, for as long as possible. And then finally, I want to talk about highlighters. So you don't want to be using highlighters when it comes to spots. Again, a massive misconception that YSL Touche Eclat is a concealer. It is a highlighter. Don't use that on your spots ever. But what I would say is highlighters can play a massive part in making your skin look healthy and radiant without looking looking oily or shiny or whatever. So if you are into highlighters, there are two highlighters that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. The first one, the low end one, is the Revlon Instafix Highlighting Stick. I spoke about these in one of my recent videos. Um, I think it was the New In Beauty for July video that I spoke about these, but they're just really natural, really glowy. They have them in a couple of colors. This is the gold one, and there's also like a rosy pink one. Really, really nice and natural, and you can really kind of target where you put them. Secondly is a new product from Dior that I'm so excited about. About. This is a new discovery for me. It's the Radiance Booster Pen. This, I believe, is part of their autumn collection. So it's just coming out now, and it is honestly one of the most beautiful products I've tried in a long time. It's just very, very balmy in texture. It's really, really smooth. So it's not going to leave you with like a super glitterable glow. There's absolutely no glitter in it. It's just an, a gorgeous, kind of beautiful, radiant finish. It's the same kind of packaging as the Touche Eclat, but it's a lot more shimmery. You could not use this under your eyes. It's a full-on highlighter as opposed to a kind of brightener, um, but it is so, so beautiful. So along your cheekbones, along your brow bones, I do it down the center of my nose, just to bring that kind of radiant glow back to my face. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It has been a little bit different to a normal skincare routine, but I hope you like it. If you're not already subscribed, then please click that button. It means the absolute world to me. It's free, obviously, and I upload every Friday and Sunday. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.